Wait, wait one second. You're the last person who can help. Everywhere around the world, Poke Centers have been receiving these healing devices, rendering us doctors useless. But hey, we're stationed here in Intaxius, the middle of nowhere, and the last Poke Center to receive a new healing device. We're the last Nurse Joys to be able to cure Pokemon without this thing. We need to do this together. Oh my god! Please, N nurse! Nurse Ida? That's your name, isn't it? Y yes, yes it is, doctor. Go lightly! I need you to fix her tail. It's a skitty? I'm afraid he dropped an ice core on it. I see. May I have her Pokeball, doctor? Of course. Your skitty is in safe hands. Begin! Alright, let's check this out. Oh. The left side is for observation. The right side is for diagnosis. And the uppermost side uh, is for treatment. There, I'll be able to collect up to three tools I can use to make sure Skitty heals successfully. Oh boy! Can't wait to make this go correct. Let's see how Skitty's doing. Oh. Pet her head. Oh. Yes. I'm so sorry. I, my bad. Pokemon generally get uh, aggressive when they're in pain. Looks like she's trying to lick her tail too. I am the doctor here. I am the doctor. But you guys are my assistant. All right, we'll look closer at the injury. This might be difficult if she keeps licking the wound. Oh no, it looks broken. Maybe like check the notebook. I don't think we touch it, right? Oh, there's like energy levels and comfort levels. The model Lux X-Ray, very compact and a big enough table to fit most Pokemon. I'll need to put Skitty on the table to X-Ray her. Should I give Skitty an X-Ray to see if any bones are broken? Yes, just amputate it. No, don't tell me to amp. No, guys, we're not, we're not going for a kill count, you know? Let's go for a little X-Ray. Let's see if Skitty gets a Lux out. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, this is such a cool game. Here's the results. It's not even a fracture. It's like a full broken tail. Uh, take the tops and tails and bells and whistles, okay? Often parts of a Pokemon's body serve as balance, right? Heavy tails oft often act as a counterbalance. Like Skitty. Um, most veterinarians will choose to amputate tails that won't heal correctly. Oh. Get the rusty saw out. Okay, I guess we have to go up to here. Gauze roll. Used for wrapping wounds. Should I wrap the skitty's tail in gauze until the wounds close? I don't know. Cone of shame. <laughs> oh, we probably should. I don't know if we amputate. Yeah, what do you guys think we should do here? Painkiller? I don't think we have... Do we have painkillers? Oh, we do. Uh, painkillers. Open wide. She already seems a lot less stressed. Maybe that's the white coat affection in action. Or does it work the other way around? Okay, awesome. Let's put the cone of shame on. And then the, the gauze. She seems much less in pain. Delcatty here. Just wondering if you've seen my daughter. She's allergic to cones, painkillers, and hates being touched. We're starting to get worried. Don't act as if everything I do is just wrong. Oh, probably calcium gummies for the bones, right? Good for sturdy bones. Yes. Fancy. I think I have a plan for how we're going to treat Skitty. Wrap the Skitty's tail wound with gauze. Okay. Give the Skitty a cone of shame. Prescribe three calcium gummies a day. Question is, am I sure it'll work? <laughs> Okay, all right, I need to consult, <laughs> consult the doctors in the room. Don't forget to disinfect the wound or we'll be sued for malpractice. Thank you, thank you. You're right, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to get sued. This will only hurt for a second. Now that I'm looking at it, that was probably too much for a wound that shallow. Chat! Are you... Lawyer here. Don't worry, I'll vouch for your credentials. Thank you, my lawyer. Oh, the peroxide then. Okay. <laughs> Now we're good, right? It'll be fine, guys. Don't worry. Wrap the skitty's tail wound in gauze. Okay, give the skitty a cone of shame. Prescribe three calcium gummies a day. Subscribe to the channel if you like the video. Oh, uh, wait, that's not one of the... Question is, am I sure it'll work? Yes. It'll be fine, guys. They won't come for me. Doctor, go lightly. I've come to a decision. Yes? Yes? So I elected not to keep skitty in my care. But as it turned out... The Skitty's injuries were much more serious than I thought. When I sent her back to go lightly, she still couldn't walk properly. The big tail got in the way. He thought it was part of the healing process and that it would eventually pass. It took him two weeks to come back. <laughs> There's four different ranks and I got the lowest? Bro, I should have amputated. Anyways, that was one hell of a first day. I heard you uh, placed an order for one of those healer machines. It'll come with our next shipment, right? Well, what's it called again? A revive? It's a revive. When's the next shipment arriving, by the way? About four days. Four days before ice break. Point crow kicks puppies and now kills cats. The cat's still alive, guys. <gasps> there's a oh, there's a Del Caddy here. Anyways, pet them. Uh, are you sure? You can't go back on this. Do we do we pet the cat? Oh my god, that's the skitty. It doesn't have a tail. I don't think I should pet it. Alright, fine, I'll pet the cat. I'll pet the cat. You guys wanted me to pet the cat. I think it's a bad idea, but we'll pet the cat. Uh, there you are. Pet them. Do it. Are you sure you can't go back on this? Yes. 
Del Caddy now appreciates you. Why did they make it so scary? <laughs> Dr. Tajiri, good to see you. All right, we got another patient here. Everything's been piling up all at once. The neutrino telescope needs cleaning. Scarlet wanted to meet with me, and now this. What's wrong with your Pikachu, my guy? Well, as you can see, he's all fluffed up. He's grumpy about it, too. I can't even brush him properly without getting a shock. And yesterday, I think he fried my laptop's motherboard. Keep him on the operating table. I'm sure he won't destroy anything. Honestly, either way, it's probably a good idea if I can keep him away from your electronics. All right, new patient. You ready? Begin! All right, I suspect this is a case where I'll just need to tell Dr. Taijir what this Pokemon's come down with. Look, look at him. He's so fuzzy. I shouldn't pet their head. Sit and watch. Let's see that. Oh, he's just sick. Probably the thermometer. 40 degrees Celsius. Oh my God, we got a fever. Or oh, he's a Pikachu. A Pikachu. That's so funny. Uh, the electro counter. Right, because you're electric type. Seven kilovolts, 3.7 millijoules. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. This thing only is supposed to output electricity when Pikachu uses moves. Is it constantly buzzing with that much electricity right now? Maybe like an ice pack. You want me to put it on your head? There you go. Yes, gloves. Okay, take, they're not rubber, but we gotta, we gotta put these things on guys. Important, now we can pet him. Oh, look at him. The sick leave. Yes, coughing, sore throat, clear phlegm, headache, fever. It probably has the common cold. Uh, which instructions should I give? Probably a rest order. Because it seems like a cold, you know? Maybe some vitamins. All right, we'll give it vitamin C. Stay at home, vitamin C. You're probably good to go. Should I tell Dr. Taijiri that? I would recommend the Pokemon eat well, but not much else. I'm. You know what? What's a doctor if you're not sure about your diagnosis, you know? Can't go worse than the skitty. I'm sure of it. Right. If I remember correctly, his dorm is the third on the right. It's not medical malpractice, if I'm correct. How is Pikachu? Are they still fluffed up? There isn't anything I could do about that. The good news is you just have to keep Pikachu in your dorm. It just has a cold. It'll recover in time, maybe one or two days. Oh, isn't that great, Pikachu? Yes, take care, you two. Uh, yes, all right, Pikachu. You can come with me to the telescope if you really want. No. Okay, okay, what's our ranking here? Oh my God, I totally forgot. And we needed to have it stay at the Pokemon Center because we're gonna ruin the telescope. Oh, I'm a terrible doctor. No, it's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The Pikachu's fine. The telescope's okay. There's no way that I'm gonna get my license revoked. That's how one of my Star Data hard drives, half a year old, got fried by a Pikachu. Y yeah. Whoops. <laughs> it's one mistake and it can hardly be even called yours. And besides, what happens in Antaxis stays in Antaxis. Ah, fair enough. I. Wait, what do you mean by what, by what happens in, in Taxius stays in Taxius? Oh, it's just a saying. Wait, is there something more sinister going on here? If something bad happens here, it won't follow you back home, so to speak. Did someone say I was leaving? Oh, well, no, but Jean, have, have a good, good night then. Three days before ice break. Three days before we get the machine and we um apparently... We lose our job as the last actual nurse joy. Night, Chansey. What in the, the cold? What is she doing? What is happening? It's okay, Z. Just how does this keep happening? Ida? Ida! Y yes, Scarlet, it's me. You're awake. I am now. Listen, I'm sorry I woke you up so early. No, 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 I can see the problem. Look at him. He's barely holding his head up. I don't know much about hypothermia, but I think he's past the point where one sheet blanket's gonna help. You have the more advanced blankets? Y yeah, you could, you could say that. Yeah, let's let's get him warmed up, huh? We got a medical emergency going. Uh, hey, Scarlet. Okay, what's Zuelos like? Neither of them are good at sharing. Even before he came to Hoenn, they've been naturally running cold. I've never known why that is. Dragons are weak to ice. Yeah, <laughs> and you run. <laughs> That's so stupid. Why would you bring a dragon type to Antarctica? All right. Let's see what's wrong with this, Wellis. Okay, this should be simple. Oh my God, is it like shivering? Skin and extremities seem to be fine, if pale. Frostbite can be safely ruled out. Okay, so it's definitely not frostbite. Blanket, first of all. A blanket roll. Heat pack for sure. Should I wrap the Zuelas in bandages to warm it up? Sure. Yeah, a hot drink, right? Hot vanilla, yeah. I drank the whole cup in three seconds. That's only slightly terrifying. We're probably good, right? Screw it. I think I've done everything I can. Am I ready to begin the treatment? My current plan is... Wrap the Zwellis in gauze. Wrap the Zwellis in insulin blanket. Apply a heat pack to the core. Yes, there. Perfectly cozy. Scarlet, uh, your Zwellis is going to be okay. Luckily, you caught it when it was only moderately hypothermic. As long as they're insulated, the only treatment is a heat source placed on its head, the armpits, etc. In other words, um, what? 
Oh, they're ripping the blanket up? What are you doing? That's warm. Warm is good. But that was the last heat pack I had. Now what am I supposed to stick under the blanket? Do you have to stick them under the blanket? Yes, it's because because otherwise I wouldn't do it. All right, so let's just take a second. Chansey, you, you monitor their temperature. I'll find something else they won't fight over. Tell me if things go wrong. Okay, so we need to find something to like warm up this wall because they ripped up the heat pack. Oh, hey, Clementine's Arcanine. They keep it as a warming dog, both for them and their Pokemon. Oh, should I? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that could actually be good. In four, they rip up the Arcanine. Choose a heat source. Arcanine's ball. Arcanine, go. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, oh my, did they just, oh. They were fighting. Okay, not not the Arcanine. That wasn't a good, that wasn't a good call. They ripped up the Arcanine. F in chat, boys. Maybe like a Firestone. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, go Lightly's Firestone. Should I use it to warm up as well as instead of the heat pack? Okay, let's try this now with the Firestone. There, take this. Uh, oh, they just threw. Uh oh, they threw the Firestone out the window. Let go. You should be getting tired. You're hypothermic, remember? I'm trying to help you. So what is the point of you? I got them to stop. I'm correct, they're in subordinate position. In other words, they recognize that you're more powerful than them. I'm not sure though. It's very rare for them to do that. I don't see why they would. The kill count recognized. Don't say that. Okay, what do we, how, do, how do we do? Skill. <laughs> why did I get a minus seven on skill? I'm a good doctor, I swear. Skill issue. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Tired of skill issues? People telling you to get good or to just be better? Hate getting bronze medals when you for sure and totally cured that creature? Now, do I have the solution for you? Why don't you start with factor meals? Factor meals? Factor meals. Now, hear me out. This won't save your tail, but a good diet might help you focus on going that extra mile. Extra mile extra mile. It's easy to get, saves you time, and all the meals they provide are extremely nutritious. No prep, no mess. Factor meals. Choose your preference of meal and how many you want per week and bing, bang, zip, you got yourself a pre-made feast. Factor meals. Hey, it saves me enough money and time for my totally real PhD. Factor meals. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use Pog Crow APR50. That's Pog Crow APR50 for 50% off your first box. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Factor meals. Two days before ice break. One day later. Does this count as a double kill since they have a separate consciousness? They're still alive. Ah, oh, mon chéri. I was just about to venture outside. Oh, that's very nice. So I. Won't see you at dinner. Uh, okay, I'll be in the Pokemon Center if you need me. Oh, what's up, Chansey? Uh, would you mind standing at the counter for me? I have a feeling no one's coming. I just do. I might turn on the radio, sleep a while. I'm right, the walkie-talkies use this wavelength. The colony size must have grown up by at least 100 Empoleons since last winter, and I've never seen so many Piplups alive. Can you see him? The Alpha you've been tracking? I can. Hold on, he's he's coming up to me. Aw. Oh? What's he doing? No! Dr. Garcia, Jean, what is happening? Oh, their expedition went wrong. Did he just... Hold on. Uh, I'm coming. We gotta go. We gotta figure out what happened. Oh, there's the Empoleon. Do you need a nurse? What happened with the Empoleon? What's going on? I'm a good human. I, I can help you. Are you leading me somewhere? The ship port? Something must have hurt you here. Some kind of rusty equipment, heavy machinery, a Pokemon fight even. Still though. Sounds like this Empoleon is challenging Eric's <laughs> kill count. What the hell? What are you? Uh, hey, what? Hey, what's going on here? I don't, I don't mean anything. Ida. On Shree, Ida, wake up. What was that? What do you think it is? It's not what it seems. You tackled me and an Empoleon. I think I understand what's going on here. It wasn't a real Empoleon. Take my Pokemon, my Molotic, my Toxel, my Gudra. Tell Dr. Clementine they're safe and well. Dr. Clementine left. He's out looking for you. Get back inside. And until I say so, make sure absolutely nothing gets in or out. I need to stay outside and reason with the thing. Oh my God, it's a thing reference. What thing? My ditto wants my attention. Very, very badly. Okay, okay. We gotta leave, dude. We gotta leave. What the... Did you see them? Garcia, I mean. It's minus 20 out there. Ida, move! Are they hurt? I'm as worried as the doctors as you are, but everyone, why don't we talk one at a time? Well, this should be interesting. Shush! All of you. 
All I know is that Garcia said his ditto's gone rogue. A shapeshifter, more like. You've seen the movies. If it has a good reference, it'll become a perfect copy of the Pokemon, right down to the strength, moves, only stopping at its mind. I have no idea why it took the form of a beat-up Empoleon, but... I plan to catch this thing before tonight gets more confusing than it already is. Well, where is it? This is the only entrance or exit. If the emergency doors open, the alarms go off. Nothing bigger than an insect is getting in or out. Uh, what? What's? What's? What's that? <laughs> On that note, does anyone have a cup <laughs> and a sheet of paper? <laughs> oh no! Oh! It's there! It's get her! <laughs> okay, all right, we gotta get this thing. Oh, oh, is it? Is it the Espeon? It could be the Espeon. Espeon, how are you in here? Espeon, use teleport. I said no one. Espeon, use hypnosis. Was that Gar Garcia? Okay, I have no idea. I have no idea where it went. I, I think I saw it heading to the lounge. Oh no. Look at them. That's a Pokemon that saw something they weren't meant to see. They all look like they want out, but... So would a ditto. Dude, we're like in a horror film right now. Pikachu, I see you've gotten better. We have to go through our past diagnoses to find out, dare I say, and this the imposter. <laughs> All right, inspect. It's much healthier looking than it was before, but still looks cheerful. Too cheerful. All right, what about the swallows? I give it something. What would I give it to make it snap? A delicati. All right, inspect. The tail is definitely gone and it's still got the correct number of ears, baubles, etc. Oh, a fridge. Old gateau. The heat pack. Yes! Here's the heat pack. Huh. It wasn't fighting over it. Oh, that's a little suspicious. Are my doctor senses are tingling. Dr. Will, I found him. Oh, call me Cass. Uh, this is the Zwellis. I have no clue where the original is, but I'm sure it's a fake. Uh, Ida? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> we don't trust your doctor senses though. <laughs> it was the Del Caddy. <laughs> it's a Togetic, damn it. Ah, my doctor senses. All right, it's, run it's running back outside. Oh no, did I fail? I see you've lost track of it. Yes, I saw it go that way right now. Surely you saw a Togetic run past you. Shame to admit that I was bested by my own ditto. Before my very eyes, I saw it turn into a, a Lugia. Grainy and sharp-edged like the photo he and I saw years ago. I barely escaped Ida. Wait, so it turned into a Napoleon, a Lugia, and then turned into a Joltik. How fast is this thing exactly? Extremely. Hey, did anyone tell Clementine you were back safe? I'm getting my coat. Clementine's Arcanines are going nuts too. Oh my, what? McLeod, you're... Scarlet, why are you on the floor? Oh, huh, what? What happened to you? I was looking at this book and something hypnotized me. Oh no. The logbooks had a page ripped out of it. On the one side of the ripped page is a blank page. The other is Dr. Clementine's expedition to the Vitreous Glacier last week. Meaning the most recent entry has been ripped out. This is the thing. This is literally the thing. Who would that be? Oh my God. Where are the Arcanines? There they are, you! You're not very slick. Clementine's Arcanine would never destroy their own equipment. Dr. Aristokov, yes, you. Get in here and guard the door. Aye, aye, Ida. They destroyed the radio. The tape inside is torn up and destroyed. But there's something else I can play. Oh, oh, oh. The Dr. Garcia tapes. We, I, I call him Tuscany. The biggest wall rain I've ever seen in the Southern Ocean. Molotic, Molotic, calm down there. See, when they make their mating calls, my Molotic gets jealous. No, Jean, recall the Pokemon. Do you know what happened if you hurt the wild Pokemon there? This whole continent is legally a wildlife reserve. Your research. Au revoir. Your job. Uh, whatever. Can't stop them fighting just by snapping my fingers. Oh, oh, there's so many Arcanine. I concede. That's slick. How am I supposed to tell which one's fake? Surely there's something different about a Ditto's biology compared to a regular one. At the very least, I can visit my office knowing Aristokov's not going to let the dogs out. How could I figure this out? They can replicate everything down to everything else except for the mind. They can't replicate the mind. A stethoscope, a thermometer, a blood pressure cuff. Butterfree needle. Oh, an ultrasound scanner. You can give a detailed look at Pokemon's internal body structure. Yes! Dr. Garcia's Arcanine. Okay, use the medical instrument. Okay, that seems like an Arcanine. What about this one? Oh, but that's not... That's not an Arcanine! I didn't see many bones. Oh, that's the ditto. Your whole body's ditto. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. 
Watch the bag. Aristocrat, get the door. What? 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 Who was the egg? Oh my god, it became a human. Aristocrat? Why the heck did he leave? Footprints? Human footprints. From the kennel to the door. Aristocrat couldn't have made those or me. I don't believe it. The ditto might have turned human. After 20 years of being here, I have the authority to call at least one emergency meeting. <laughs> Everyone's in the lounge. <laughs> now you're all wondering why I need to get you all in one place. Apart from Clementine, the ditto has destroyed the only way of contacting him. Hey, just tell them the ditto's a human now. I can't do that. I saw with my very own eyes. First off, we're going to narrow down who is the ditto. Then we force them back into their Pokeball. But don't they only do that if they faint? I know I am a nurse joy, but as a last resort, I'll make my chance to use last resort on the imposter. Um, actual kill count? My doctor senses are tingling again. I'm gonna get the Chansey. Hello there, Chansey. Quick, someone's coming. Wait, you have the ditto? Wait, J huh? Garcia, you son of a biberel. Oh my, what? I have a hunch. What? It turned into me? No, it turned into me. Oh no. Garcia's a double agent, dude. Calm down, everyone. One of them is definitely the ditto. We've cut a one in seven chance down to a one in two. We're like a one in one. That's clearly her. What do you mean? Which one? Oh, I'm already confused. I'll give you a name. Invada. What was your hunch again? Well, my hunch is that the imposter is clearly Garcia. The real one stuck outside and he's going to freeze to death. What's yours? But the door's been blocked. No. If you break the door down, you won't find him because the real one is standing right here. And he's been in here the entire time. I believe we'll be able to determine the fake by who has the most cracks in their story. All in favor of three strikes, say aye. I've never gotten the opportunity to argue with myself. Do you think you'll like it? Do, do we have like a health bar in the upper right? At the risk of sounding self-absorbed. Oh, yes, yes, I will. Your first point. What if you believes the real Garcia isn't here? What if you believes the real... Dude, we're... <laughs> it's Dag and Rafa. What if you believes the real one is here? First off, we need to establish that Ditto is near omnipotent when it knows what it's doing. But simply, there's no way that Garcia is real. His Ditto knows him better than any other trainer in this facility. But still, a Pokemon never attacks their trainer. So we know that Dr. Garcia isn't likely the Ditto. The one that we saw enter might not have been real, but the one sitting here is. As I said myself, there's only one entrance and one exit to this facility, the front door. How was another person supposed to get in without a fire type? How did he get in? I think he teleported, right? Because he teleported with the with the Espeon. I followed his Espeon into his dorm, where I saw it teleport Garcia through the walls of the building. Oh my God. He said something about how it had to take him to the locker room. Hold on, hold on. Do you have any evidence for this other than your hearsay? I can say the same thing about you. Could we please take this seriously? Someone must have else seen me changing the Espeon, but who? Oh, it was, um, it was Dr. McCloud. What? No, I, I was in the nurse's office. Oh, it wasn't McCloud. It was, it was a different, I forgot their name. All right, let's say Garcia did somehow get it. You can't say with confidence you want to get to the locker room. Why don't you follow him? I was hypnotized. No! At this point, she's jumping to Sharpedo. Uh, it was in his dorm by his Espeon with hypnosis. At that point, he went to the locker room unimpeded and tore a page out of the logbook. It was the first thing destroyed tonight. The other, a tape with Garcia's most recent mission log. I know for a fact that someone else in this room can confirm all of this. Dr. Aristokov, because he heard the tape. Nope, can't say I can... Oh, fuck. <laughs> nope, can't say I can trivia anything. God, you're useless. She's implying that Garcia did all of this intentionally to get rid of something. Having two of them here at the same time is a distraction. She, she said something about the locker room. That's where I got knocked out by some Pokemon. I don't know about you, but I've got to hear the rest. Who? what tapes? Why are we talking about tapes? That's, that's what Arcanine was destroying in Clementine's room. Correct. Fine. Let's say Garcia did get inside and he did get to the locker room and he did get rid of his mission log. What is the point? The tapes were mission logs, recordings of the back and forth between Dr. Clementine and Garcia while one of them was venturing out. The logbook is how we keep track of who left and re-entered the facility so we don't lose anyone. All of these can tell you that, oh, when Garcia would be back. This isn't school. We don't get penalized for lateness. Okay, we got one last one. What his aim was. Everything that could have been confirmed that he was going out there to observe the local Empoleon colonies. But... Why? In that case, maybe you wanted to hide the fact his ditto got away. Yes, the whole situation is embarrassing uh, enough. Right, so we can agree that he had something to hide. I saw the ripped book. And I heard the tapes. Stop it, stop it now. No. I believe what he was trying to cover up was an attack on wild Pokemon, and that's illegal. Aristokov and I both listened to the tapes. Garcia apparently has a habit of not stopping his team from attacking the Pokemon he's studying. Wild, protected Pokemon were actually hurt. At best, he could lose his research grant. If things went bad, he would lose his job. 
And if the uncontrollable Pokemon defense didn't stand up at court, he could go to prison. And there's one more piece of evidence that proves what just happened. It's because it disguised itself as a Empoleon. Because the Empoleon was hurt. I saw it with my own eyes. Its crown of horns was bent so far to the side that the metal edge cut into its forehead. I even guessed at the time it'd come out of Pokemon fight, but I had no idea that it was a ditto just imitating what it saw. But, but what if this is a coincidence? I think we're forgetting one person. That'd be Dr. Clementine. They would have heard what happened on Garcia's expedition. If we were all running around trying to catch Ditto, he'd probably let the issue go, but we aren't. If I were you, which I am, I'd be yelling at everyone to get out there and let them in. Agreed. Someone go fetch them. We'll tell the whole story. <clears throat> get out there and let them in. Sacre bleu. I'm sorry for scaring you so bad. You know, when I was in Empoleon, oh, we're talking with the Ditto right now? I know you're probably feeling all sorts of things towards Garcia right now, but he wouldn't have let someone die. I don't know about that. I liked being you. Being a nurse, Joy? No, I don't, I don't think you'd enjoy it. As much as I'd like it to be, it's not like being a detective. But that's not what I said, though. I said I liked being you. Oh, you got you there, didn't I? Yo! Let's go! Woohoo! I'm a doctor! All right, let's go to sleep. Do I return in for the night? Yes. One day before ice break. Oh? What the hell's happening? Is this our dream? Oh, we became a, a star. Do you see it? That star. You know them. It's my mother. Your friend. Their will. Oh, it just went out? Oh, the stars are disappearing? Do you see it now? Wait, yeah, wasn't that a um, Gothitelle cry? Isn't this a vision, Ida? Oh my God. So I heard this voice, but not someone's actual voice. It's like someone else was like talking to me by hijacking my internal monologue and it died. And then all of them did. I see what's happening here. Stars, infinity, brain hijacking. That wasn't a dream, Ida. That would have been like something like a Gothitelle vision. Hey, Cass. I've had that dream too. Is this just a thing that everyone's dreaming about now? Oh, I think someone should talk to her? Of course, it's probably something important. I presume you're volunteering. So we need to figure out why everyone's having these visions. Oh, there, there's Gothitelle. How the heck did you get here so fast? Uh, here we go. Dr. Point Crow to the rescue. I could talk to it about what Dr. Will thinks. You know, Dr. Will, uh, she's really worried about how you haven't been talking to her lately. That's why I'm here, so you can talk to me. Oh no, I didn't make you feel bad. Uh, sh what should I ask her? Uh, is something coming? Ooh, oh, yes. Okay, something, something's coming, guys. Can I change the future? That's a stupid question, isn't it? Okay, I'm changing what you'll do in the future by talking to you right now. Oh, let's try again. What? Okay, okay, okay. You're communicating with me. Okay. Oh, what the, what the hell? All right, Scarlet, you have a coin? Scarlet, you're as well as. Hey, heads or tails? What's this Wallace well doing? Oh, it's, why is it in the first aid kit? I don't know, it's gone under the table. I'm trying to get it with my foot. Yeah! How did you even get up there? Uh, uh, okay. Why was that important? Do we do we go out and see what's if that's real? I wonder if I can like do something different. Someone must have forgotten to give this back to me. I'll be taking this. So now I've changed the future. I think I've got it right this time. Watch. Okay. Okay. You're showing us another vision to like save the future. So let's see what happens now with the Zuelos. Heads or tails? Oh no, it's gone under the table. I'm trying to get it with my foot. We can help you. Promise not to eat the key. I think I know what you want me to do now. Oh, we just we just saw like what we fixed, right? Okay. I like coming here where the nights get long. The red lights trick my silly little brain into thinking that the day is over. Yeah, it's funny how plants and humans are still the same in that way. Just got that last row to check and then, oh, uh, top you up with some canopy grow. And that reminds me too, I need to clean the filtration. Ah, I'm gonna get some supplies. All right, I'll stay here and uh, bask. Hmm, probably it's missed this broken lamp. Yeah, why'd I touch that? So, um, that was the problem, was the broken lamp. As I say, if it ain't broke yet, you cannot fix it. Oh, 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 we, we use the canopy grow. Right, 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 we have that in, in here. Okay, and then, and then, and then we do the plants before the lamp breaks. This is where Dr. Aristocrat usually pots his roserade. Should I add the canopy grow? Yes. Okay, now you won't have to worry about that. Okay, cool, we did it. Watch. This is what is going to happen now that we changed it. Ah, good, I remember roserade's fertilizer this time. And this one's broken. Anyhow, any two. You were saying, Cass? I, I need to go home. I need to be there for at least one midwinter, tell you at least one granddaughter about what I saw in the Southern Seas. Not permanently, but I've been uh, putting it off. 
Fair enough. Right. And because of that, we made them closer. I'm correct. You're testing me for something. For the record, I'm, I'm okay with that. Whatever you wanted to show me last night, I'm prepared to see it again, if that's what you want. Are you? Okay, here we go. What did you show me? Like, what is this? So you were testing me, showing, oh my God, they can't see us, can they? Oh, we're here. We're in the, okay. We're like in Unova. Granddaughter, son. Oh, and this is Dr. Will. Do you see it now? Your will, your friend, that's her. That's her, that's her, that's her. Okay, God the tell. I know this is real. Cassandra. Oh, she's cold. Rest well, doctor. What was that? God the tell, your trainer has... No. No, you already know what happened to her, don't you? That's why you brought me here and, and not her. The nurse. What was that? Oh, oh, supposed to do? Oh, God. I got the, oh my god, that's that's a tradition. That's what it is. If a person dies, you cover them. That's it's respect, even if she's You wanna give her respect too, don't you? I can only cover her face. You you made dreams for her. You astral projected to you Nova for her. You time traveled for her. Are we disrespectful? No. So, why? Why didn't this work? Cassandra's going to understand how hard you tried, okay? If you choose to tell her that is, you've been so good to her from what I know. You deserve her, but I'm sorry I got the tell. She'll still age. Oh, she's crying. Is that her son? She, there, see, you could uh, talk to him. Both of you would call her mother. That's, that'll make things easier, right? It's okay. You don't have to use my words anymore. Are you tired? I'm tired too. I'm back. Do I have permission to tell her? I see. Oh, Ida. Uh, there you are. Uh, how was your time with her? As it turns out, Gothitelle has some anxieties about you. Do I tell her everything? Oh, I think Gothitelle should probably tell her. It shouldn't be from us. Uh, naturally. Uh, I don't think she likes how adventurous I can get on the ocean. Let's go see how she's doing. Maybe she'll be up for some board games to help unwind. Oh, all right. Let's see how we did. I could have done that better, I guess. Zero comfort. I forgot about that. Oh my God, wait, zero days until ice break. That's today. <gasps> Finally, there it is. Come on, Chansey. Let's go see the ship. Ida, I'll start moving stuff indoors. The box with the machine parts should be near the back of the ship. It's the one with the pink sticker on it. <laughs> Let's go get it. Take the machine parts. You picked up the revive parts. Uh, let's head back, huh? Uh, right, I'll collect the rest. Cassandra's Caracasta really did a number on this place, huh? It's so big. It almost makes you dizzy. I'm joking, Chansey. Please don't get mad at them. This is where uh, they're going to put the healing machine. You remember the name? Uh, Revive. That's what it's called. You'll get used to it in time. Oh. All right, let's see you guys. The way I see it, Cass, I, uh, I can worry about it once it's actually bolted to the ground. Well, let's get to work. Hey, Ida. Yeah? Uh, touch the machine for me. Feel that? Oh my, that's very weird. I are... Why do we get the feeling it's alive? That's just the effect the healing magic has. Don't worry. Okay. You sound like you know how this thing works better than I do. If you wanted to be informal about it, you could call that magenta stuff life force. Actually, it doesn't really have an agreed name. In Kalos, there's a story of an old king with a dead Pokemon and a healing machine. No, oh, that's ridiculous. The box specifically says it can't revive dead Pokemon. What the hell is this? I like the setup we have here. You know, I don't even know why I was worried about this thing in the first place. The end. Huh? Uh, question mark? Chansey? Wait, what? Wait, what? Yes, I, I finally got the machine. Wait. No, 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 no. What? What is going on? What the? What the hell is going on? Huh? Did the life force like bond with Chansey? What's happening here? Oh, Chansey. Try to make a react. What should I do? Um... Call to it, probably. Chansey, I'm here. Machine is okay. No one got hurt. You're in my office. If there's a reason you're keeping yourself in this state, I can help. Check the notebook. In a coma, unresponsive to essentially everything. Uh, what should I do? Poke it, use an item? Yeah. Just some kind of item that can help me connect with it in a state. An item that can help me connect with it. We need some more consultation here. We're just going to ignore the mutant Chansey? I'm not. 
you're fine. And don't all crowd in here at once. Unless you've got something to tell me, in which case, please stay. What did you see? After your chance, you jumped into the machine. We both saw the feelers stretch out. And then the whole thing started melting. What is inside of these healing center machines, dude? Have you ever seen this? Not in Sinnoh, I haven't. No, in Hoenn and Kalos, it's a pretty common tactic to change your Pokemon's form. And so now we gotta do that. This might have something to do with mega evolution. Apparently the form changing is based on friendship, but I'm a little sus. This could be a mega evolution. We know where Megastone is as well. Dr. Girl Lightly's crystal uh, is sent to help me in this new writing room. Get it to help you? Yeah. Crystal tag along to move a chancy shaped box. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. Let's let's get all the Pokemon we can. We will concede it. Yeah, accept the rules of the victor. All right, so we got the Weavile as well. It's Cassandra's Silglyph. Ask you to join me. Silglyph has heard good things about you. <laughs> Awesome. Wait, there's the mega stone right here. It's a keystone. Should I take it? Yes. Wanted you. That's mine. Surely you can't just take it. I do what I want. Screw you. We're taking the keystone. Uh, the only way to maintain a link and precious balance with a mega evolved Pokemon. I wonder. It said we can give it an item. I wonder if we... Wait. Yeah. Aha. This old thing. Let's see. Does it still fit? We can put our glove from the old days. And with a tiny bit of skin adhesive, we obtained a mega glove. <gasps> Hi. Okay. Use an item. Is this going to work? Chansey! Or as I should say, Mega Chansey! Mega evolution is a barely understood science, but it requires a keystone and a megastone. Two links between two people. I don't know how you did this without a link. I'm sorry, I can only manage a one-way connection. But do you see this? It's my paramedics glove. I see no better use for it than this. Do you hear me now, Chansey? Yes! 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 Chansey! Do you have control over this form? The machine didn't hurt me. You, I, I can heal you. I'm not in danger anymore. Believe me, I'm... I'm Nurse Joy. <laughs> you can't escape. Oh, boy. All right, hypnosis. It's asleep. Okay, psychic now. That does not do a lot of damage. I soft-boiled. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit of a yikes. Okay, we gotta, like, actually do this well. Earthquake, maybe? It has... <laughs> Of course it has levitate. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna taunt. I'm gonna taunt gravity earthquake, I think. Oh my god! Okay, taunting out of soft boiled. Okay. Siglyph, right? We're gonna use gravity here, so it brings it down to the ground, right? So then Chansey uh, can be hit by a ground type. This is like a puzzle. It's so cool. Then I use earthquake so I can actually hit it, and it does a lot of damage. Oh, one more hit could, could, could do this. Come on. Yes! It was, it was it was the gravity physical i love that that was so cool it's done all alternate forms wear off when pokemon faint correct please 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 oh and that's chancy yes you've almost got it i'll be able to treat that you, you just hold on oh whoa oh it has a wound there's a laceration extending across chancy's chest blood loss is limited but something i'm worried about so so sailing solution there's a laceration there definitely gauze right gauze for the um for the wrapping wounds yes blanket for sure temperature is low still heart rate's fine we have painkillers a blanket roll gauze and saline solution and a mega glove i think it's good all right let's treat it choose a treatment <laughs> all right saline solution i know uh baby it stings but this thing has to get all the way into the wound to disinfect it that and you get all of this blood off of your fur i know you worry about that gauze i guess yeah we can just get under this coat perfect still stitches but i don't know if it's safe to put anything in your body if it's changed shape and the bleeding still needs to be stemmed but i can't move you to the recovery position if you're levitating ida come turn the machine on don't come in just ignore them chancy uh put the healing machine out of your mind and it'll help it's not gonna make me useless i'm not gonna make you useless all you have to do is let go and i'll do the rest chancy do you believe me because if you don't then i I can understand why not. Will the Pokeball let it in now? Oh. Yes. Oh, look at me. I suppose there's only one way I can make things right now. Yeesh! I didn't think the first Pokemon that needed healing here would be yours. Oh, the fuck off. Do I use the revive to revive Chansey? I think we have to. Let's do it. Er, unfortunately, in between everything else that's happened today, I forgot to read the instructions. Just put the Pokeball on the white pad and press the red button. Oh. It's done. Is it done? There's Chansey again. Oh, welcome back. You know, the, the one thing that we sought to destroy in the end helped us out. Welcome back. What the? I'm so sorry if I worried you. I get it now. I'm not the last Nurse Joy. I'm not even in the ideal Nurse Joy, clearly. I don't know what happens after this, Chansey. But don't go doing that again, you hear? Oh. Do you need me to... 
Oh, oh, oh I, I see. First note to self. I should probably be hugging you more often. Or in general. 